Hi guys, my name is Abba and welcome back to my amazing kitchen. In today's video, we are making some fried buns. If you don't have time to fry bullfrog on a busy morning, this recipe is definitely for you. These buns are crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. So let's get right into it. In my mixing bowl, I have some all-purpose flour and a pinch of salt. I'm adding some baking powder, sugar, needle, which is milk powder, and I'm going to grate in half of a whole nutmeg. Now mix everything together with a whisk until it is well combined. Next, you want to go ahead and add in your butter. And as you can see, your butter needs to be soft, not melted, but very soft. And for easy mixing, I'm going to break them into smaller pieces and add them to my flour. With the tip of my fingers, I'm going to rub the butter into the flour until there are no more traces of chunks of butter. Once you are done, your flour should resemble like coarse sand. And since we are using very little amount of butter, you can see that you can't clump up your flour together. It crumbles right away. This is how you can also test if you are using the right amount of butter. In a separate bowl, crack in two eggs and you want to make sure that your eggs are at room temperature for the best results. Add in about a teaspoon of some vanilla extract. Now go ahead and add your skimmed milk and mix everything together until it is well combined. Now make a well in the center of your flour and add about half of your wet mixture. First, I'm going to start mixing this with my fork until the moisture we added is absorbed by the flour and then add the remaining half. Continue with your fork until it is no longer possible to mix with your fork. With my clean hands, I'm going to go in and bring the mixture together just with the tips of my finger. So I'm not vigorously kneading this, I'm only trying to bring it together. If you overdo this, your buns may come out very tough. Now add about 4 tablespoons of cold water, but adding it a tablespoon at a time. We only want to bring the mixture together until there are no more traces of dry flour. Depending on the flour you are using, you may need more or less. Once you reach this consistency, our butter is done. So as you can see, it's not a runny butter at all. Clean the sides of your bowl, cover with a cling film and let it sit for about 10 minutes just to relax the gluten. Meanwhile, preheat some vegetable oil enough for deep frying so that once your butter is well rested, we can just go ahead and fry our buns. To fry the buns, I dip my hands into some cold water which I have next to my butter. I scoop some of the butter and just push it into my oil. There is no way to do this. Anyhow you want to drop in will do. Try to maintain a medium heat so that your buns will cook on the inside as well as the outside. If your heat is too high, they might brown too quickly on the outside and still be raw on the inside. And when your heat is too low, your buns will soak up a lot of oil and at that point you can say bye bye to your crunchy buns because they are going to become really greasy and soggy. Nobody is going to like that. So at this point, our first batch is done and I'm going to keep them in my colander lined with a paper towel to catch some of the excess oil. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the entire process until all my butter 
is used up. This recipe makes enough buns for the entire family for those weekends when you want to have an elaborate breakfast with the family. So, if you want to have some Hausa cocoa or porridge but don't have time to fry both roots, please try this recipe and you won't regret it. Everybody will keep coming back for more and more. And now, just listen to how crunchy they are on the outside. Well, you had it for yourself. They are super crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And you can tell they are not greasy at all. Just look at my fingertips and you can tell this is a very well fried bun. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe and if you did, please give me that thumbs up, comment, share with your friends and family, subscribe and become part of the amazing family today. And if you have already done that, I want to say a very big thank you to you for coming back always to support me on this channel. So, until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, make these buns with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!